students welcome back to rosy maths class in this video we are going to learn about the magic number of cup breaker and this is for class 6 students from the new ncert textbook ganit prakash given on page number 62 so what is this magic number of cup breaker this magic number is 6174 so let us learn little bit about the person who gave this number and that is d r kapreker d r kapreker was a mathematics teacher in a government school in devlali maharashtra he liked playing with numbers very much and found many beautiful patterns in numbers that were previously unknown in 1949 he discovered a fascinating and magical phenomenon when playing with four digit numbers that is what we are going to learn today so we need to follow a few steps to get this magic number 6174 this number is also called the kapreker constant let us understand why this number is called a magic number with a few examples for this you can pick any four digit number except the numbers where all the digits are repeated for example 1111 2222 1, 1, 1, 1. Three, 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 three. Similarly, we can have for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. So we cannot use these numbers to get the magic number. Except these numbers, you can take any four-digit number, and you would always get this magic number, which is six one seven four. So let us see the first example, which is given in our textbook. The number taken is six thousand three hundred eighty. Two. We need to follow some rules to get this magic number six thousand one hundred seventy-four. First, we have to form the largest number using these four digits. So the largest number would be eight six three two eight thousand six hundred thirty-two, and the smallest number would be in the reverse order. That is two three six eight two three six eight. subtract these two numbers we can call this as a and this as b so a minus b will give us c so let us subtract and see 8 6 3 2 2 3 6 8 this would be 5 13 12 12 and this would be 12 12 minus 8 is 4 12 minus 6 6 5 minus 3 2 6 we are getting 6264 this is c now we will take this number okay we will take c and make the largest number out of this so the largest number would be 6642 minus the smallest number would be 2466 do the subtraction and when you subtract you would get 4176 now this is our new c okay take this number make the largest number out of this which would be 7641 7641 and the smallest number is 1467 7641 minus 1467 5 This would be thirteen eleven, so that is four seven one six six one seven four. So we got our magic number, which is six thousand one hundred seventy four, the Capricor constant, and we got this in how many steps? One, two, three. Three steps we got this magic number. It takes a maximum of seven steps to reach the kapreker constant from any four digit number you take any four digit number except these numbers you would reach this magic number within seven steps let us take another example let's say we take the number 1000 okay we'll take the number 1000 so step 1 the largest number we can form is 1000 and the smallest number is 0001 That equals to one thousand minus one is nine hundred ninety nine. However, we will write it as four digit number. So zero 
nine nine nine. So this is a minus b equals to c. With this number, we will make the largest number and the smallest number and subtract. So second step, the largest number is nine 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 zero minus. Go in the reverse order. Zero nine nine nine. We'll do the subtraction. Nine 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 zero minus zero nine nine nine. So when we do the subtraction, we get eight thousand nine hundred ninety one. Now take this number and form the largest number and the smallest number. That will be step three. Nine nine eight one minus one eight nine nine. When we subtract these two numbers, we get eight thousand eighty-two. You need to be very good with subtraction so that you can easily get this magic number. Okay. Now, fourth step, we'll take the largest number formed using this number, which is eight eight two zero minus zero two eight eight. When we subtract these two numbers, we get eight thousand five hundred thirty. I'll take the largest number out of this, which is already eight five three two. Step number five, because we should get it within seven steps. So this is step five minus two three five eight. When you subtract these two numbers, you would get we are getting six thousand one hundred seventy four. Let us check using calculator. So we have eight five three two. Minus two three five eight, and that gives us six one seven four. Let us take one more example. Let us say we take this year, which is twenty twenty five. So we will start with first step. The largest number formed is five two two zero minus zero two two five. So I'm going to use a calculator so that it becomes faster. Five two two zero minus zero two two five. That is four thousand nine hundred ninety five. In your school, calculator is not allowed, so you need to actually do the subtraction. All right. So now, using this number, we'll form the largest number, which is nine nine five four. Smallest number is four five nine nine. Nine nine five four minus four five nine nine. That is five thousand three hundred fifty five. Third step, five 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 three would be the largest number. Smallest number in the reverse order, so three five 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 three minus three five five five. We get one thousand nine hundred ninety eight. Fourth step nine nine eight one largest number. Smallest number would be one eight nine nine. We do the subtraction. Nine nine eight one minus one eight nine nine. That is eight thousand eighty two. So we have reached the same number here. See, now eight eight two zero minus zero two eight eight. Largest number minus the smallest number. So that would be equal to eight thousand five hundred thirty two. You can see in the calculator also eight eight two zero. Minus zero two eight eight, eight thousand five hundred thirty two. Six step, eight thousand five hundred thirty two minus two thousand three hundred fifty eight. The reverse order, right? And we already know when we do this, eight five three two minus two three five eight, we get the capricorn constant six thousand one hundred seventy four. So now we have seen three examples to understand this magic number. Now, what happens if we continue the same steps with this number, six thousand one hundred seventy-four? 
Let us make the largest number out of this. That would be 7641. And the smallest number would be 1467. 1467. And we subtract this. What do we get? 7641 minus 1467. This would be 5, 13, 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. 13 minus 6 is 7. 5 minus 4, 1. 7 minus 1, 6. So we are getting 6174. We are again getting back this number 6174. Right? We are using the same digits to form the largest number, the smallest number and when we subtract in the answer also we are getting the same digits. So if we continue the steps with this number we will repeatedly get the same number back. So that is one more interesting thing about this number 6174 the Capricor constant. Hope this concept is clear to you. In the next video we shall try the same steps with three digit numbers and we shall see what magic number do we get. So that's all for now. See you all in the next video.